are there specific rules to utilizing somebody else's art if you want to do the same thing if you feel inspired do you credit them do you not how do you go about it we see this a lot on social media and we're going to talk about give you our opinion right now on the biz talk So first thing, okay, everything you do, you got to give me credit. You that take just credit par- anyway. What is the saying? You guys say it all the time. <laughs> yeah, Greg and I have this ridiculous saying. All the time I hear this. Got to take credit. Credit's not due. They're our favorite um, thing to say or text. <laughs> like, dude, did you see da da da? Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it's always we, credit. I know. It's it's a joke, by the way. We... We are not. I, um, I don't think they're joking against me. Maybe against Tracy, <laughs> but um, it's fun to do. Yes. So thanks. <laughs> there we go. So let's let's chat about this. Um, I know we've talked about this before, but I want to get more, um, maybe a little deeper in, into the topic. Yeah. So what we're seeing is um, a lot of amazing, talented nail artists are putting out, you know, sets of nails. Uh, people, you see them, they get inspired by them, they maybe recreate it, um, maybe they're not giving credit, should they, should they not, what's, are there kind of like rules of the game, what's the deal, you know what I'm saying, like, like how do you kind of navigate that, and I, I have a couple thoughts on know, this. kind of random, right, like I have, I do, I have like, yeah, several feelings about this. Yeah, I have, um, well, this is kind of like, first of all, like I've actually gotten, you know, uh, DMs even from some of our techs in Europe, right? Mm. Like, hey, how do I deal with this? Somebody copied my work and didn't give me credit or. So the first thing is like, that's going to happen. Right. Right. Like once you put your work on the Internet, you it lives. It, it does. <laughs> it lives forever. And that situation is going to happen. Yeah. Okay. So we've, I mean, here's an example. Uh, I was on Instagram, an ad popped up for some, I forgot what it was, some nail company. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. They were using our video footage in their ad, (laughs) our video footage, like in their ad Mm -hmm. to promote their products using our video. And I was just like, I started laughing, Yeah, you know, but so the first thing is like, of course I was upset, but well, that's full on. It's, it's just jacking yeah, and then, did. and then they're using it to sell their product, yeah. right? <laughs> Not even directing it towards right, us. Right. So it's, it's a, it's an extreme case, but, um, there's a lot of cases similar to that that go on. But, but the way that I went about it was, first of all, I was like, look, we put out, you know. 50, 60, 70, we put out a lot of content every day. The chances that that's going to happen is very high mm-hmm. because this is the internet. Like, you know, yeah. somebody somewhere is going to grab something and they're going to use it and claim it's there. So I did the best, best I could. I contacted the company. I DM'd them and I told them, take the video down. This is not your footage. It's ours, you know, and it kind of went away, yeah. you know. Did they reuse it and then, you know, block me or block us? Maybe. I have no idea. Did I worry about it? No. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't go. Now, if obviously, what's that line of protecting your trademark? Okay. Well, there is a line, right? If if if, if it starts to, obviously, I moved in that direction. Um, I'm going to protect our trademark at all costs. So I want to make that extremely very, yeah. very clear, right? Everybody's like typing, I'm going to steal their stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very, very important for me to communicate that. And we've had situations where, you know, people have used our yeah. mark or yeah. there's been counterfeit. I mean, we've talked about this with Amazon, how yeah. serious we got on that topic to protect our mark. So I will do everything because that's, that's everything. Well, that's full on stealing. Yeah. When yeah. they're using your trademark or counterfeiting, that's a whole nother yeah. thing. They were using a video, you know, it, they didn't use our trademark and then use our trademark to sell the product. They were using a video, they c- took a clip yeah. and then used it to promote their products, right? right? So it's, it's a little different. Yeah, but I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But as a nail tech, I think I would be, if someone took my nails, posted it on their page and said, as their own, 
that that's, that's stealing. Of course. That you, you shouldn't, because first of all, you, you better be able to actually produce that because your customers think you can do that kind of work. Right, of course. Um, you know, so that to me is an absolute no. No, no, you can't, you should not do that. No, if you they want to post it and go, oh, these nails are by Trace. T. Ryerson and I really liked them, and then they're amazing. They're, you know, um, I'm gonna try to copy them or whatever. I'd be, oh, that's cool of them. That's right. Cool. And we do it on our IG all, all the, the time. time. We are always like, uh, you know, we, we use all of our mentors. We have feature Fridays that we do where we, but we always give credit to the tech. Of course, they did those nails. Well, so so here's that's the big thing is all about giving credit. You know, I have it's just a basic sort of rule of um what's right this is kind of how i mean this is how honestly i even run our business i really right. try to go with like hey what's the right thing to do in this situation i try to use that as like right. a as a gauge to help my decision making process in this situation it would be the same thing okay what's right well if you obviously if you grab somebody's picture and you repost the exact same picture you need to give credit and you need like you have to give credit where the credit is due like hey this is a picture that was this is a set of nails done by so and so um i love it so i wanted to put it on my page beautiful set i'm going to try to recreate it beautiful also along those lines if somebody puts out an amazing set of nails and you're inspired by them mm. i think you should say that you know and if you try that set of nails and it looks very similar to the one out there I think you should say, hey, I was really inspired by the set that Tracy did. Um, you know, here's here's my version of it. Uh, I And to me, that's what art's about. Yeah. You know, but I still think you should you should give them that credit of like, wow, I saw this and it it like touched me inside. So like I want to create something similar. I think you should give that credit of like inspiration. Yeah, it's it's very similar to like our, our looks of the month that we're doing right now, yeah. or even like how much is whatever. We're taking literally where I'm looking at the picture and I'm maybe putting my twist to it, um, but I'm inspired by that set of nails. And we've always like this was inspired by Monica or whoever it is right. at the time. Um, absolutely. Now, if I'm taking a set and I'm like, oh, I like that color combination they use, but I'm gonna put some glitter in it, and it's just like. A random like oh that that was that was a cool pick I'm gonna compl it's completely kind of different so similar color range I probably am not no gonna I give credit because it really wasn't an inspiration kind of thing there, there's this line right there is a line and I think I think you're right like so it would be like oh uh like if you looked at a basic manicure let's take that okay with no art no nothing and you just saw a color combo you know, on there. And you were like, ooh, I like that color combo. I'm going to do it. You're not going to be like, oh, this exact color combo inspired by so-and-so. Yeah. I'm more talking about like if it's a a design mm -hmm. that somebody created that's very recognizable, you yeah. know, and it's very obvious that, look, this this yeah, type of design I mean, came like, from them. It's like, it's obvious that that right design on that carpet, they copied that design. Right. Yeah, totally. But you, you can't take credit for like I so let's look at glitter press for example mm. right glitter mm -hmm. press is something that you you guys have talked about and glitter pressing is you just take the glitter and you're pressing into the gel polish and it flattens it out and it gives this like chromey really beautiful look that's been going on for a right. very very long time and we have had people in the past you know and and I, I think they're very sincere and, and they were upset uh something similar to like simple like a glitter press going I created that and you should be giving me credit and like first of all I've, I've yeah, never no. seen your nails exactly. so I don't know that and everybody's doing glitter presses so right. it's not really something you you can claim maybe maybe you did I I don't know but we wouldn't we wouldn't, I, know. I wouldn't know right you know? so that there's a difference in that or um I think we've also had situations where uh someone has you know used something similar to someone else then we take their picture and we're putting it on and then they'll, it kind of goes down the chain. Well, they took inspiration from me and it's like, oh, well, I didn't know. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I think anytime that you're putting your nail art out on online, people probably are going to copy it. Hopefully they give you credit, but if they don't, I wouldn't, don't, don't stress about it. Don't yeah, get upset to you because it. if you don't want people to, cause I've seen people get very upset that someone even copied it. Yeah. 
that they they used it for inspiration, then don't put it online. Yeah, if you, you can't. don't want someone to use it for inspiration. Don't put it online. Yeah, it's a compliment. Yeah. It's a huge, huge, huge compliment to you as an artist. Like, you're inspiring people. Like, at the core of being a person and an artist, that's ultimately what you want to do. You want to ins- you want to make people look at your work and you want them to feel something. And that's inspiration. You know what I mean? Like, when, they, when, when you get an emotional, uh, some type of movement inside of somebody... They're being inspired. They're like, oh my God, like that's the whole point. Yeah. So if somebody's inspired by your work, for them to go and want to recreate it, you can't be mad at it. Now, if they completely like copy it, should they, look, if somebody's inspired by by your work and they do a work of art, I oh, I just think like, hey, I was inspired by these cool nails yeah. that so-and-so oh, did, you cool. know, and you should. I think that's just a good positive thing to do and put Absolutely. out there. Absolutely, I think if you know, because there is the situation, I think uh, Steph and I were, we were talking about it before we started shooting. There's a trickle down effect. Yeah. Um, and we get pictures from Pinterest all the time and it doesn't mm. tell you who, who did those nails. Right. So if, a, you know, someone's doing it, it, it take a moment and go, you, you can DM them and say, hey, I don't know if you know, but that was my, orig- you know, that was from an original set that I did. They may never have known. Right, of course. Because they might have, j- a client brought it from Pinterest or something right. like that, and they didn't know who to give credit to. There's a lot of that goes on too, because yeah. the internet is so vast, and you find trickle, something. Trickle, trickle, trickle. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, sometimes you don't know. Um, and it might just be something as simple as it as just DMing them, you know. You still may not get a response because, for whatever reason, I think the whole point is, don't don't get wrapped up, you know. I personally don't think you should not put work because you're afraid somebody's gonna like copy it. You know what I mean? I I don't think so. Um, we put out all of our content, and I know damn well that any nails that you guys do or Greg or Greg does somebody's gonna take it and copy it um again like I said somebody's used our footage and um yes I addressed it you know and to I think that's a good thing I've even seen people take um actual photo our photography Mm -hmm. and then try to claim that it's there so we've experienced that yes I reach out to them yes I do basically let them know you need to give us credit or you need to take it down those are things that, you know, we do take action, but um, you just have to expect it's going to happen in this environment, yeah. like on the internet. But I, if for the nail techs that do know, like there's nothing wrong. It's, it's not a weakness to admit that you were inspired from someone else. That's, that's, I think that's beautiful. We, we encourage people all the time. We all hit that block where we're like, I have no idea what to do. Let me scroll and take some look. So don't consider that a weakness that you had to use someone else for inspiration. That's being smart. Yeah. And you, you'd just be lying because here's the truth. Every single artist in the world, you don't just come up with something without, whether you know it or not, you're being influenced by your environment, by what you watch, what you see, what you listen to. All of that plays into your art ultimately. So nobody is ever creating an actual original piece of art. You're being inspired by so many different things every single day to create yours. So it's just passing it along. Yep. Ultimately, we're just passing it along, passing it along. We've all been inspired. Any artist that claims that they're just only you know, coming from their brain and it's not coming from somewhere else, in my opinion, they just don't. Either they don't understand like that they're being inspired or they're just blatantly lying. Yeah. So um, let us know in the comments below how you feel about this. I'm super curious, actually. Um, And your experience as well. Have you had this happen to you? What did you do about it? I think this will help our community in understanding how to deal. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for joining us. And we'll see you next time on this talk. 